video describes the recommended test procedure for testing combustion on an MTI TRX boiler. Prior to performing the combustion test, it's recommended that you hook your manometer to the gas valve line pressure port and monitor the gas valve line pressure while the boiler is in test mode. These tests should only be performed by a licensed and trained heating technician. To hook your manometer to the gas valve line pressure test port, lower the display. You will require a T15 Torx screwdriver. Loosen the gas valve line pressure test port. You do not need to fully remove this screw. It needs to be loosened several turns in order that you can take a reading. Place the tubing for your manometer over the test port. And at that point, you can monitor your gas line pressure for the remainder of the test. Once your manometer is hooked up, turn the gas to the boiler back on. Set the boiler into test mode. Corey, set the boiler in test mode here. Now that your boiler is in test mode and working at high fire, Remove the gas test port at the top of the unit. You require a T20 screwdriver to do this. Pull the plug out. Insert your analyzer three to four inches into the test port and ensure that you get a good tight seal where the analyzer is inserted. Now that your analyzer is working, Monitor your test results. If the boiler is operating on natural gas, the acceptable CO2 range is between 8.7 and 9.7%, and at no time should the carbon monoxide exceed 175 parts per million. If the boiler is operating on propane, the acceptable CO2 range is between 9.5 and 10.5%, with a maximum CO part per million of 175. If adjustment is required, always set high fire first. The high fire adjustment screw is the black adjustment on the right hand side of the valve as you look at it. Each full turn of this adjustment screw equals roughly one third of a percent of CO2 change. In order to adjust this, you will require a four millimeter Allen key. If, for example, we were at 10% CO2 and on propane and wanted to go to 10.3, it would require roughly one complete revolution clockwise in order to get to 10.3. If we were at 10.6 and wanted to go backwards, simply reverse the process. Counterclockwise will reduce the CO2 and clockwise will increase the CO2. After your high fire adjustments are complete, go back and set the boiler into the low fire test mode. Now that your boiler is in low fire, you will want to make adjustments using the low fire adjustment screw. The low fire adjustment screw is covered by a cap, which first must be removed before adjustments can be made. Once the cap is removed, use your T40 screwdriver to make adjustments at low fire. Never adjust low fire unless the boiler is working in low fire mode. Never adjust the high fire screw unless the boiler is working in high fire mode. 
if adjustment is required, small increments of perhaps a tenth or a twelfth of a turn are all that is required on the low fire adjustment screw. For example, a small adjustment like this will reduce your CO2. Work clockwise, make small adjustments like that repeatedly as needed to get your CO2 in the acceptable range. The acceptable range for low fire is your high fire number minus as much as 0.3% or equal to high fire. In this example, if we had 10.3% at, at high fire, we would be allowed to have 10 to 10.3% at low fire. When making adjustments at low fire, ensure that you wait at least a full minute in between adjustments before taking your next CO2 reading. Once you're content that the CO2 and CO is set properly, reinstall the cap Take the boiler out of test mode by tapping the test button once. Turn the boiler off, remove your manometer, and tighten the test screw. Reinstall the test port cap at the top of the boiler.